We're given the graph of f, and g of x is the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt. So in other words, uh, g prime of x will be f of x, and so g double prime of x will be f prime of x. So that's going to help us for part a. We want to find the value of g of 4, which really is the integral from 0 to 4 of f of t dt. So that means we have to find this area plus this area. So this area here from 0 to 3, that's a quarter of a circle. So that's going to be pi r squared times 1 fourth. The radius here, radius is 3. So it's 3 squared is 9. And that's going to be 9 pi over 4. But this area right here, the height is 2. Base is 1. 1 half times 2 times 1 was negative 1 here. Because it's below the x-axis. So add those two together. And we get g of 4. Now for g prime of 4, that's the same thing as f of 4. Because g prime of x is f of x. We go on the graph here. We find where f of 4 is. And they actually give us the point here. So that's negative 2. And then g double prime of 4. Well, that's the same thing as f prime of 4. And that's the derivative at this point here. So this is a corner and we know that the corner is the derivative does not exist because the left hand derivative is negative 2 the right hand derivative is 2 and because the left hand and the right hand derivatives are not the same it, it's not differentiable at x equals 4. Okay, Now for part b write an equation of the tangent line in the graph of g at x equals 4 so for that, for a tangent line, you want a point and a slope. They give us the point x equals 4. And so we want g of 4 because we're writing the tangent line for g. g of 4 is actually given to us, or we solve for rather, up here. So that was 9 pi over 4 minus 1. And then the slope is the derivative at x equals 4, which we solve for negative 2. So now we just do the point slope. It's y minus y1 is equal to the slope times x minus 4. And I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay. Now I want to find all values of x on the interval from negative 5 to 6 in which g has a relative maximum. Okay. So let's uh, first actually in order to find the relative maximum we have to look at g prime so the number line of g prime which g prime we said is f okay so we want where f is zero or undefined obviously f here is continuous so it's always going to be defined it comes down to now just looking at where f is zero because that's the same thing as g prime being 0. So that's going to be a negative 3, 3, and 5. Okay, to the left of negative 3 here, f is negative. Between negative 3 and 3, f is positive. Between 3 and 5, it's negative. And then after 5, it's positive. So if it's negative, it's decreasing, positive, increasing. And it has to have a relative uh, maximum when the derivative changes from increasing to decreasing. So that occurs over here at x equals 3. So g has relative max at x equals 3 and because the derivative is positive and then negative so that would be the explanation 
And then part D, we want to find the x coordinate of each point of inflection of the graph of G. Okay. So for that, we need the second derivative, which we said is the same thing as f prime. So we're interested when f prime is zero or undefined. So let's go back to the graph. And let's look at when it's zero or undefined. First, so the derivative here is positive, but it's undefined over here actually. Okay, because the left-hand derivative does not equal the right-hand derivative. So we know negative three is one of the points. I'm just gonna write it here. This over here, the derivative is zero. So let's include x equals zero. Also a three, the derivative is uh, undefined because the left-hand and the right-hand derivative are not the same. At four, x equals four, that's a corner. That's not defined there. Okay, and everywhere else it is. So let's add these uh, points on the number line. Okay, let's look at to the left of negative three, the slope here is positive. Between negative three and zero, it's still increasing, still going up, but between zero and three, it's going down. So that's gonna be negative. Three to four, also going down. And then four to, four to six, it's going up, so it's increasing. Okay, now this is concavity. So we're looking for point of inflection. That means when the second derivative changes sign. So for example, at x equals zero, it's positive and then negative. So that's gonna be one of the critical points because this is concave up, this is concave down. This is concave up, concave down, and then concave up. So it also changes at x equals four. And again, the reasoning was because changes concavity at those two spots.